Howdy, my name is Kate Seifer. And this is Pamela Matson. She is the ecologist that I have picked to talk about today. Pamela Ann Matson was born on 1953 in Wisconsin. This was also where she grew up and learned about her love of the great outdoors. This love and knowledge that developed as she grew up was what pushed her into the field of ecology. She talked about how she cares about how humans affect and are affected by our environment. In 1975, she earned her bachelor's in biology from the University of Wisconsin, Eau Claire. In 1980, she earned her master's from Indiana University in environmental science. And in 1983, she received her PhD from Oregon State University in forest ecology. After school, she started working at NASA and worked there for 10 years, researching the atmosphere above the Amazon rainforest. She specifically focused on how deforestation and pollution affected the atmosphere. Matson actually pioneered much of the research on land use changes on global warming through analyzing the effects of greenhouse gas emissions that are caused by tropical deforestation. After NASA, she found a place in academics trying to teach others about important environmental issues. She worked at the University of California, Berkeley, where she was a professor of ecosystem ecology, and then at Stanford, where she was the dean of Stanford University's School of Earth, Energy, and Environmental Sciences. She is considered a pioneer in the environmental science field. She received the MacArthur Fellowship, also known as the Genius Grant, in 1995, as well as a long list of many more awards and honors that she received throughout her entire career. Matson studies biogeochemical and ecological processes in forest and agricultural systems. Her research addresses a range of environment and sustainability issues, including sustainability of agricultural systems, vulnerability and resilience of particular people and places to climate change, and much more. Matson defines sustainability as the ability to meet the needs of people and their communities and organizations now and in the future. She believes in symbiosis between society and the environment. I picked Pamela because I love learning about female scientists. I feel as though I can relate more to female scientists. Not only that, but I love that her passion and dedication is focused on environmental and sustainability issues. Those are issues that I also feel strongly about and that I think everyone else should be aware of and care about. Thanks and gig'em.